Hello and welcome to Bubble Art. My name is Yvonne and I am a librarian with LA County Library. Today we are going to learn how to draw bubbles, including capturing the transparency, reflective qualities, and iridescence of soap bubbles. Who here loves blowing bubbles? It's fun to watch bubbles float, dance, and pop. But have you really taken the time to get a good look or observe a bubble in flight? You might notice something interesting. If you look carefully, you can see brilliant iridescent colors of the rainbow and even reflections from light sources, whether it's a lamp or a window. Shiny transparent bubbles are the perfect way to see light reflection at work. Reflection is when light hits the surface but cannot pass through, so it bounces off. Reflection is what makes images appear in smooth, shiny surfaces such as mirrors. Let's blow some bubbles and do some observing before we jump into bubble art. If you already have bubble solution at home, you're all set. If you don't, it's very easy to make with minimal materials. You can use twist ties or pipe cleaners to make a wand. Or you can try using anything with a round opening such as a straw. Bubble solution can be made by gently mixing half a cup of dish soap, one and a half cups of water, and two teaspoons of sugar. What do you see in the bubbles? If you're blowing bubbles near trees, do you observe some green reflected in the bubbles? If you're blowing bubbles indoors, can you detect a window-like reflection on the bubble surface? We will recreate these qualities in our bubble art today. You will need the following materials black construction paper, different sizes of circles to trace, and oil pastels. We will begin by tracing different sizes of circles on our black construction paper in white pastels. Don't be afraid to let the circles overlap. It will add dimension to your artwork. Next, color the edges of the circles with different colors. Some bubbles might have color all the way around the whole bubble, while others might only have two sides or a patch inside. Try to remember what we observed when we blew bubbles. Add some white in there to emphasize the light sources in the reflection. How about a bubble that has popped? We can add some in there to make the bubble art more realistic. Keep in mind that bubbles are rounds, so your colors and reflections should be curved too. Experiment with the bubbles by adding colors and white in different areas. If you made several sheets of bubble art, you can even tape them together to create one big mural. If you'd like to learn more about the science of bubbles or have more fun with bubbles, there are a few excellent titles on Hoopla. You can access them from our website with your library card and PIN number. Bubbles. How to make bubbles. And bubble fun and other fun stories all look like a blast. If you're looking for music to blow bubbles to, there's even a collection of songs called Bubble Melodies. We hope you enjoyed Bubble Art. Click the link in the description for upcoming programs, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now!